everyone, it's Amy with Dewdrops Photography. Again, I'm so excited about the new release from Greater Than Gatsby, Newborn Studio Collection. I'm going to start off with a different, more moodier image this time. I'm going to choose the Flaky Skin Remover, the Clarity Smoother. She doesn't really have red issues, but I see, can see some gray. And of course, I'll do lips and cheeks and lash and brow. So let's start with those first. Go ahead and zoom in. And she really has limited issues at all. So for the little skin flakes, I'm gonna go ahead and use the, let's see, the flaky skin remover. Click there. Oh, 100%, sorry. 100% opacity. Get rid of most of those this way because I find that it's easier. I'm not even sure what that, that is, but I took care of it. Okay. So as you can see, she just has a little gray undertone around her mouth and her eyes. So I'll go ahead and do that first. We're going to use 40% at first just to show how great it is. And then I can bring it down if I need to. Just warming up those gray areas. Okay, perfect. Uh, maybe 20% up here on her forehead. Okay, then I'll go to lips and cheeks. I'm going to do 30% opacity for her cheeks. Sometimes it takes one click, but usually in the highlighted area, it takes a couple of clicks. Or you can make your opacity larger. Lash and brow, we're going to zoom in for that one. And make sure your brush is really small at 40% opacity. Again, you can always bring that down if you need to later. In your layers. By love, I can have all my open layers right there. Oh, that one's too strong. Let me go back. I'm gonna go back to 20% opacity on my brush. Make sure I don't overdo it in the shadow area. And then the magic. <laughs> and you can also, like, I go back and forth between the magic and the clarity, but it's just really about how you like to edit. I like, I do like the options. So I'm at 60% opacity right now. In the last video with the baby on the blue, I did 100% so you can really see the difference. So if you haven't seen that one yet, please go back and watch that one. And just make sure you do a little swipe on their hands or feet or legs to make sure you're not just smoothing out the face. So I'm gonna click on and off on that one. Perfect. There's still a little more right here. Okay. And then because I'm like, this is a little bit moodier, I'm going to go down to, I think, I would like to try the Snugabug, which is a filmy matte look. And of course, you can adjust your opacity on the layer to taste. I like that at 50. So you can see where I'm going with that. Okay. And then I'm going to actually, this is bothering me, so I'm going to go ahead and get my patch tool. There was obviously a pillow right there. I'm going to patch that up and hit delete, and then it'll be content aware and hopefully fills it in nicely for me. There you go. And do it one more time. Okay. I can tell you what I want to do now, and I'm going to go down to the Fill Flash Pop. And my brush is going to be set to 60% at this time. I'm going to do a couple clicks on her face. And just wherever I feel like it needs a little more light. Yep, so that's that. And I'm going to bring it down just a smidgen. Okay. And I hit Command Shift E a lot for my merging layers. And then I, of course, I love the Clean Boost. 
The last time I did a video, it was the natural light, which worked great for that image. You have to kind of play with them and find your happy place for each one. So Clean Boost works really great. I'm gonna bring that down a little bit. And we're gonna go back up to the other fun stuff. I'm gonna try a little wakey wakey because that one gives it a nice pop. Yes, perfect. But I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. Don't wanna overdo it. That's exactly what I was looking for. And then of course, the one click foundations are incredible. This one I'm gonna use, I think Cradle Song Foundation might work out great. That's beautiful, but I'm gonna bring it down quite a bit. And again, you can play all of these and find your favorite. So I'm gonna also run the Bedtime Story, which is my go-to. So I'm going to take off the, the uh, cradle and just see what the bedtime story does. See, I, I'm feeling like that is much better for this particular image. And I'm going to bring that down. And I'm going to go up to flatten after. And I'm pretty happy with everything the way it is now. I think I'm going to try the drama vignette. And again, you can click on the color that you want and play with it, or you can go up on your slider. I'm gonna choose something. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and use my eyedropper tool, snag a color there. You know what, nope, I'm changing my mind. I'm gonna do a backdrop color, there we go. God, I like that a lot. So I'm gonna go in with my brush and mask off her in the area around the prop. Let's go ahead and look at that. Yes, perfect. And then I'm gonna bring that down just a tiny bit. And I think I'm gonna go in one more time with the fill flash. Oh, where'd you go? And I'm gonna make a, my brush really big my bracket keys and let's do 50% opacity. Just bringing a little more light all over her. Again, bring it down a little bit. And then I'm gonna go down one more time to sharpen everything. And we're gonna save that for mommy. Okay, awesome. So don't forget, you can go to www.greaterthangatsby.com to purchase the newest set, and thank you guys so much.